and welcome back to Ozarks Live. We are here with Mackenzie Palmer from the Humane Society here in Springfield. And Mackenzie, first of all, thanks for joining us. But also, who did you bring with you today? I brought Spot with me today. Aww. Spot. <laughs> yes, he does have some spots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a four-year-old terrier mix. Um, as you can see, he does walk with a little bit of a limp. Mm -hmm. um, he was just, uh, his legs were just formed differently at birth, so they're just a little uh -huh. bit inward. But that doesn't slow him down at all. Um, he's still such a fun little lovable guy. And uh -huh. he runs around. I mean, you saw him run around. Yeah, um, he has lots of energy. Yes. It looks like the front legs kind of, um, the muscles have like, you know, developed a little bit to compensate for <laughs> yeah. those back Yeah, legs they too. might have. Um, yeah. He's yeah. just a little bit selective with who he likes to play with. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, so I just recommend like, if you're interested, the whole family come to meet him. Sure. Just make sure it's a good fit and everything. That makes yeah, a lot of he's sense. He's super sweet and cuddly. Is he good with kids? Um, that is something, again, he's selective. Yeah. I've seen him around kids. Like, I had a Girl Scout troop volunteering the other week, and he was really sweet with them. Ah, but okay. I would just, again, I would just definitely double check on that and make yeah. sure. He seems just very picky for whatever yeah. reason. Oh. So, <laughs> how long has he been with you all, and why was he brought to the shelter? Yeah, so he's been with us since August. Um, he was just surrendered. The reason, I'm not actually sure on that, mm -hmm. to be honest. I wasn't okay. told. But um, I don't know. He's such a sweet little guy, so I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's now, you us, guys but... have a lot of events that you do, and mm -hmm. you have another one coming up. So tell us about that. Yeah, so we actually have an event right now. It's called our New Year New Pet Special, and Spot is a part of that. Love where that. we're actually waiving the adoption fee completely for select animals. So nice. wow. Yeah, you can come um, apply and meet Spot and everything, and as long as it's a good fit, you could take him right now, you know, no adoption fee. Uh -huh. wow. Is that for all animals or certain ones? Just selective ones. Okay. Um, a lot of them that have been with us, you know, um, long term are part of that special. Um, we also have our dollar cat day coming up on New Year's Day, which is a big awesome. thing at the Humane Society. Yeah. Um, we do that each year. So all cats six months and older will be just $1 for their adoption fee. Very nice. good. Now that's not all you've got going on. There's something else you teased to us in the break. So tell us about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we actually partnered with Flower Rama here in town. Um, we are doing a Taylor Swift sweepstakes, um, a giveaway for her concert next year in KC. No way. Wow. You got awesome. tickets for that? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. I understand that was a mess. How, how in the world did you score those? <laughs> Rama reached out to us and wanted to partner. Um, uh -huh. And so the way we're doing it is that you can go to Flower Rama and purchase raffle tickets. And so you can have up to 10 entries into this drawing. We will do a live drawing um, in February. But the proceeds raised from the raffle tickets go to the animals at the shelter. So it was super sweet that That's they amazing. wanted to reach out. Yeah, nice. um, you can also submit an essay um, instead of purchasing tickets. Um, mm -hmm. And you get three entries, but a max of 10 in order to be in it. And so if you want more info, we have flyers at the Humane Society and Flowerama. And it gives you all the good like terms and conditions mm -hmm. and everything right. like that Which that you can amazing. look into. Yeah. But yeah, that starts January 3rd. You can enter into that. So How fun. Uh, yeah. check out our social media for more. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Now, also, yeah. the Humane Society always has amazing countless opportunities for people to volunteer or help mm -hmm. out in any way that you guys need so talk to us about that a little bit yeah for sure we're always in need of volunteers um, as you can imagine with 300 animals you know that we <laughs> max out at, at a time um, so there's events you can work like dollar cat day we have a bunch of volunteers coming to work that um, we have transport needs that'll pop up we have different events seasonally you can just stop by and socialize the animals mm -hmm. so like walk the dogs like spot yeah. um, socialize cats there's cleaning opportunities as well there's pretty much everything mm -hmm. so even if you're not yeah. ready to adopt or foster an mm -hmm. animal you can always Always come play with them and help. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> now tell us to um, remind people if they are interested in maybe adopting Spot or another dog at your guys' shelter, what's the process of doing that? Yeah, so you can fill out an application online at SWH.org. Um, and then I would. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay, oh. buddy. He's just a little nervous on the set. Yeah. He's never been out to the news before. Yeah. Um, That's normal. Totally normal. <laughs> But uh, you can fill out an application. I'd recommend following up on that um, okay. by phone or stopping in because we do get so many applications. Sure. Uh -huh. um, but then, yeah, once that's approved, you can come meet him and see if maybe it's a good fit. Well, that's great. Now, yeah. how can people find more information? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Um, you can go to our website, SWH.org. All right. Okay. Thank you yeah. so Mackenzie, much for thank you for being here. Here. Nice to meet Spot. Aww, thank I you guys for having us. I hope Spot <laughs> finds a great home. Lots oh, my gosh. I hope so, too. <laughs> He just gets a little protective. Oh. Buddy. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, up next on Essex Live, in case you're looking for something to do on New Year's Eve, we have some ideas. That's right, lots of local events coming up, but first is with Bullroom Comedy Club. Stay with us. He saw his friend, he was.